Hey guys, what's up? It's Darkmick here and welcome back to another 2 minute tank guide for Elephant, Normal and Heroic in the Eternal Palace today. Second boss, the Blackwater Behemoth, and good news, it's fucking simple for tanks. Uh, on the way to clearing this boss in the water before you start, there's going to be an oxygen rich membrane. Click on it, you're going to get a debuff which reduces all incoming healing by 100%. And the way that we get around this is when we are being attacked by the boss, we get a debuff on us, on us called Radiant Biomass, which allows us to be healed. Now, as the two tanks, you are just going to stand at the boss for the entirety of the fight. There's three platforms on each platform, stand in front of the boss and just tank it. Torn swap wise, the boss is going to get a stacking haste debuff the longer he remains on one target. Swap around every 15 seconds, which works out to be about 13 stacks of his haste quickening buff that he will get from sitting on the one target. So basically when he starts fucking up your co-tank, hit your taunt button. Uh, the boss will cast a thing called Shock Pulse. It pushes people away. It's proximity based damage. The further you are away, the less damage you take. As the tanks, don't worry about moving, just stay in front of the boss. Stay spread five yards away from people for the bioelectric feelers, which is like a chain lightning kind of thing, I think. Just stay spread five yards. Now at the intermission phase, the boss will retreat into its cave and swim to its next platform. You need to swim across the open water through the jellyfish to get to the next platform. It's really important that you don't swim out with radiant biomass on you at the time. Wait for that buff to be gone, then swim out into the water. If you swim out into the open water with the buff on, you get eaten. The boss will start doing a cast when he gets over to his next uh, platform called Cavitation. You need to make sure that you as the tank get over, be in melee range, interrupt the boss before it goes off. Uh, just be really careful. If you're not in melee range, the boss will start fucking up your raid. So make sure you get over there, be in melee range, and then interrupt the boss. That's it, guys. Any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Otherwise, come find me on Twitch. Come say hi in the Discord. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all next time. See you, fam. The Shadow Side.